Hey guys, I wanted to start a new series. I wanted to start a series on how to uh, prep on the lowest budget possible with, you know, the least amount of tools possible, stuff like that. Anyway, I wanted to start on how to heat water because that'll be the first thing we need to start learning how to do if we want to survive out in the wilderness, you know, besides making fire and killing animals and all that stuff. You still need something to cook them on. So anyway, we got here some basic stoves. Now, everybody is familiar, or anybody who is uh, big on prepping or in military stuff, knows the Nesbitt stove. Not sure what brand this is. They run three, five, seven dollars, some depending on where you get them. Uh, nice little stoves, perfect for a canteen cup, perfect for a pan. You know, they're all around good stoves. You also have two different types of fuel you can put in them. This one isn't great with the gel because you know holes. Great with the tablets though. It's awesome. Now, we also have here an Altoids tin that I turned into a stove. Again, craptastic when it comes to uh, liquid. Oh yeah, that's another fuel I need to show you guys. Um, but terrible when it comes to liquid. Awesome with tablets. Can boil a canteen cup. Now, this is one I made on my own. It's actually what I have on my survival kit. Or in my bug out bag, I should say. Now this tin, I bought a very expensive item in. Uh, well, very expensive, I mean like seven bucks. And I thought it would be perfect for this use. And it turns out that I've fried a hamburger, made grilled cheese, and uh, boiled water on the stove with my average container. None of which were a canteen cup. Why? Because canteen cup isn't in my survival kit. But there's something I wanted to show you here today because this is kind of cool. Now, this stove doesn't run on the gel. It can. Uh, doesn't run on the tablets possibility it'd probably snuff out. What it runs on is heat. This is antifreeze for your uh, gas line. It helps get water out of your gas line in the winter time. Stops it from freezing up. Hence antifreeze. So anyway, this stuff out of most alcohol based products burns the best, burns the hottest and the cleanest. Uh, and it's about three dollars a bottle. This bottle is way more than what I'll need for a lot of things. Uh, it's mostly gone now because I do a lot of experiments with the stuff, but this is the bottle that I pair with it. But I want to show you something cool because there is a lot of times that we may not have the tools required to make our own stoves. And let me show you what I use first for water, because I don't use a canteen cup. Let's pull this back over here. I have one of these. Ye old Budweiser bottle. Let's see if we can go up a little higher. See? Budweiser bottle. It's aluminum. They're about a dollar at any given store. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, in a hurry, I guess you can get one, and uh, I would suggest not drinking it out, you know, in the wild. Of course, that could make, you know, any dire situation a little more bearable, but uh, you're going to want it for water, so you can, you know, stay alive. But this is perfect for this stove. It has enough ventilation to where it warms up. I have gotten one of these bottles on this stove to a soft boil, to you know where it's not rolling. However, 
just did an experiment that I wanted to show you guys about because I found something better than this. This was a homemade invention. I love it because, well, I can use my little cast iron skillet on it if I need to. Guess I should have had this prepared, huh? Anyway. Works perfect for that. That's awesome. Still going in my bug out bag. That's what it was designed for. But I want to show you something kind of cool here. Look at that. That is a pan. That is a cast iron skillet. That literally has very little to do with this presentation right now. I want to show you something that I didn't think of until five minutes before I started the experiment and it turned out to be wickedly awesome. Eh. Snus can. I have a lot of friends who dip. I also have a lot of friends who drink. I don't drink this crap. Uh, I have better beer. <laughs> but this. Smell it. Fill up to the small line. And put our bottle of water, yes, that is water, on there. And send some harm hair. All right, we will let that go for a few minutes. I'd say about. 15, 20, and we'll see exactly what this little unaltered can of snus can do for our uh, bottle of water here. Alright guys, I uh, killed the fluorescent lamp because whew, that thing was bright. Anyway, I uh, wanted to show you something real fast. It's only been on there for about 7 minutes at the most. But I wanted to show you, that's about as far as I got with a canteen cup on my Altoids bottle, or my Altoids bottle, yeah, tin, with the tablets, and with my homemade stove in this bottle. So, I mean, this thing has already exceeded my purposed stove. Guys, it's been about 20 minutes, I'd say. Um, and I don't know if you can see this, but we've got a rolling boil going on in this bad boy. You can see it popping up at the top there. So, you know, 20 minutes is a bit long, but, you know, with something that you've literally put no effort into making, Pretty good idea, huh? And let's see if we can get this off here without, you know, losing fingerprints. Aha! Found it. And I don't know if you can see this or not. How does that? curiosity sorry but that bad boy is not only going still it still has a good little layer of uh, fuel left inside it so this may be big enough to do maybe one of these bottles yeah one of these bottles and one of these a little sprite or Coke bottles you can buy. These are 8 ounces. These are 16. But uh, I just wanted to show that to you because on the next video I want to show you what you can heat up water to use for.
That was a stupid outro.